My father and uncle opened Le Gavroche restaurant in 1967. The food scene in the UK wasn't great, uh, certainly not what it is like now. The choice was very limited, not only the choice of restaurants, but also the choice of ingredients. I remember dad growing his own vegetables and rearing uh, his own animals for the table. And I must say, I, I think my father and uncle were pioneers at the time and started the gastronomic revolution of this country. In the Christie's sale, we have a mixture of fine wines and obviously some of the art that's been at Le Gavroche for many, many years and curated over the years. I was very fortunate enough to come from a family that really do appreciate great wines. I remember heated discussions over Sunday lunch and the choice of wine, and my mum would always favour an old claret, uh, and dad was uh, Burgundian to the heart, and uh, in the end, very often, they'd open two bottles. This is what we call the daily cellar, so it's, it's quite small. Well, actually, not that small. It's a bit like the TARDIS. There's a bottle of each high-end wine here, uh, ready for our guests, ready to go. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop in here. Uh, and, you, you know, it, it's just beautiful, beautiful. And, and, oh, here we go. There's a nice bottle of fizz here. Recognize the, uh, the green top, Salon. Beautiful, 2002, in its prime. I'm not sure I'll be able to let this one go. So many little treasures. And there's one down here in its original wooden box. Oh, many Conti 2013. Now that is definitely a treasure chest. Don't want to drop that. <laughs> Over the years, we've had many illustrious guests dine here, uh, from pop stars, football stars, to royalty. It really is incredible. There are many, many uh, evenings where I've had to pinch myself. We moved to our present location in 1981. I took over in 1989. I didn't change any of the decor when I took over from my father. To be a successful restaurant, it's not just about the food, or the wine, or the service, it's the buzz, the atmosphere. And very often that can be created by what's on the wall and the decor of the place. Here we are in the bar, and uh, it's, it's very warm and cozy, and again, lots of art uh, all over the wall, but something really special, uh, I feel, Le Gavroche, and it is dated 1967. My father and uncle bought that in Montmartre in Paris uh, and it was at the old Gavroche on day one. As you walked in, that's the first piece of art you saw. It was Le Gavroche. So there's an opportunity there for somebody to buy a piece of history, a piece of Le Gavroche. The final weeks at Le Gavroche are very, very busy, as can be imagined. Very mixed emotions. It's turning a page. It's a piece of history that's coming to an end. I think I've probably spent more time in the restaurant here at Le Gavroche than I have at home. This is, this is more than just a restaurant, it's part of my life.